Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee, and today on Feed the Beast Unleashed, I've got this pickaxe that unfortunately I just can't enchant yet, because I'm level 29, not level 30. So what I think I'm going to do is make my first foray into the nether. I have not seen the nether in Feed the Beast Unleashed, but I do know that I need to pick up some glowstone to complete a few of the little constructs I'd like to make. Okay. Let's see. This is already different. What's this? This kind of block. Is this like netherwood? Bloodwood plonks. Well, it's just like the. Oh, hey, that's kind of pink or purple. Okay, so. Wow, that thing has a creepy hat with a diamond block and a guy. Okay, that's weird. The death thing apparently tracks between dimensions. That's also weird. Okay, so there's a tunnel here. I'm going to assume that this tunnel is not constructed by the Feed the Beast Unlimited Tunnel Mechanism creator, but instead, rather, that it is some sort of human construct. Ooh, hey, what's that? Can I get that with my iron pick? My iron pick does not seem to be breaking that. Well, that's a disappointment. So, I also seem to see some sort of light over there. Does that mean there's glowstone that way, according to my mini-map? Let's find out on this week's adv What was that noise? Ah. What the heck? What was that? What am I picking up? Nether copper ore. Well, that's, that's nice to have, I suppose. Where did whatever just blew up at me come from? I, I can't claim to know that. That was a little bit of a surprise. Was not expecting... I, I thought I heard something hiss, and then all of a sudden... Man. Okay, so the nether is indeed confirmed to be creepier than usual, in that apparently walls in front of you can sometimes go crazy and explode at you. Let's continue this way in search of that glowstone, though. Okay, see, that's, that's the sort of thing where we want to just limit our exposure to, to that. Uh, that will kill us on account of it being molten igneous rock of great temperature. Okay, so, what do we got here? Kind of a little cavern thing. More quartz. Okay, well let's go ahead and grab a bite of this food. I wonder, is this something I can dig? Nether diamond ore. Hey, I found diamonds. Did I find one diamond or plenty? Just the one. Is that, how do I get the diamonds out? Apparently I put it into a smelter, or a powered furnace, or a pulverizer, or an induction smelter, or a macerator. Okay, I'm thinking the macerator is going to be our, our favorite choice here. Now, I can either continue in search of glowstone, or I can take my four diamonds back and enchant them. And I'm out of torches, which is not terrible because it's the nether, so I mean... Yeah, and I've got this map here that says I need to just keep going this way. So let's just all believe in the heart of the cards and that... Uh-oh. I hear zombie pigmen. Where's this thing that I'm looking for? According to the uh, little map, I should be right above it. Or right below it. Okay. So, there's a pig man. Uh, let's go ahead and construct a proper stairwell up in hopes of finding out. That might just be a lava pool on the map then, if that's the case, but... Should I shovel that? I don't know. What was that? So, is that soul sand? Tainted soil. Wonderful. Okay. I think I angered the pig man. Yes, I angered the pig man. Okay. So, solutions to this include leaving before the pig man kill me, and let's go home and macerate the diamonds we have and get a level 30 enchant. Oh wait, to get level 30 I need a little bit more experience. So, we are just going to quickly hit that. Boom! Level 30. So we are going to go get an awesome level 30 diamond pig... Oh, I used the wrong thing come back. There we go. Dang it. Why would I even put the copper in my hot bar? 
That was a mistake. Copper, get out of my hot bar. Okay, there we go. Okay, so as long as I don't run into any other zombie pigmen that were close enough to get mad at me. Hopefully the ones at the gate won't be mad. Do I have armor on? Barely. This was very poorly uh, executed. Much like... Well, I'm about to be swiftly and well executed if the pigmen over here have gotten word that I'm a terrible pigman killer. Okay, fortunately they do not seem to have gotten such word. So, back we go out the gate here. Now this will take us out by Jassassin's house. Hopefully he has a macerator that we can use real quick. Somewhere in his house. Oh, this is a complicated house. I have a smelt grinding pick. Afraid what it will do. Let's find out. Okay. So, we are about to make some mistakes on camera. Possibly. Four diamonds! Boom! Thanks, Hip. Let's spell that right. Okay, great. So, now I can take those four diamonds and uh, craft them into something real quickly right here. Like a pickaxe. And enchant it. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, Fortune 3. That's a pretty good pick. Let's see if we can go back and grab that Lapis Lazuli that I saw lying on the ground. So he, this uh, Diamond Pickaxe does not seem to be making a dent in that. Clearly I'm going to need a fancier pick. Well, we are back at my little house here which I was fortunate enough to get a gift from Tinfoil Chef of some shards. I think I already took the purple ones out, and especially a silverwood sapling. Those are super rare. I'm going to have to plant that somewhere absolutely beautiful and delicate and awesome. And this is my setup right now. It's a basic IC2 setup over here. Super basic thongcraft over here. I don't even have cauldrons yet. I haven't been running you guys through the pre- basic stuff that I've done on all my other Feed the Beast series, but once I start getting into new things, I will definitely make videos of them for you. So anyway, let's try this nether copper ore thing in the macerator. Wow. Okay, so it looks like anything else in the macerator. It kind of says recipes and then uh, the uh, little things, the dots in there, start to get filled in. And then at the end, what do we got? Nothing. Uh, four copper. Wow. Okay, so four copper. That's not terrible. Considering I got that from some sort of creature that blew up in my face in the dark without warning me. You know what? I'll take it. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. I thought maybe it'd be like, Nether Copper Ore brought to you by the Toyota Corolla, and there'd be like a card that came across the screen like in that new Tetris game, but not the case apparently. So anyway, this is uh, Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you for joining me on my little expedition into the nether, and uh, I've been kind of sick this weekend, so sorry for not getting more videos made or not making as much progress on the server as other folks, but I'm starting to feel better already, so hopefully this week I will get a lot more progress out for you all. Anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.